arrived my new iPhone 11 Pro and I'm so excited about it. Obviously I needed to upgrade from the iPhone X which is what I've been using. Um, it's a must. It is. <laughs> it's for work, remember? Um, I do do a lot of filming on my iPhone. I have got lots of cameras that I can use. I've got two Canon cameras but I tend to film quite a bit on my iPhone just because it's compact, it's always in my pocket, on my handbag, and it's ready to film at any moment. So I do use it for Instagram uploads as well as for YouTube. So let's unbox this baby. I love it. The new gold 256 gigabyte iPhone 11 Pro. Oh my God, look at that. So design difference with the 11 to the 10 and um, also the X is they've moved the Apple logo, which has always been placed at the top here and it's always had writing at the bottom here. There's none of that business going on because let's face it, there's not a person in the world that doesn't know what an Apple product is, that it is an iPhone. So it does not need to say that anymore. The Apple logo is right in the middle of the back. First time ever. So that's exciting. And just look at that finish. That is what I love. Um, it's not shiny, glossy. It's not gonna pick up every fingerprint. That is one sexy iPhone right there. I went for the 256 gigabyte phone. Um, I need the extra space because obviously I'm making YouTube videos. I do use my phone quite a bit. I've got lots of other cameras that I could use but I tend to use my iPhone quite a bit because it's always in my pocket. Um, I can get it out of film at any point. Right, let's unbox this baby. Oh my God, I'm actually, I've actually got tummy flips. It's so exciting unboxing a new phone. I'm gonna take that screen protector off. So we have got the three cameras at the back here. Let's see what else we've got in the box. Your AirPod earphones. And this charger is supposed to be a lot quicker than the normal chargers that you've been getting with your iPhones up until this point. But I think the main thing for me with the iPhone 11 Pro has got to be these cameras are supposed to be off the scale. And I'm really looking forward to upgrading my photography a bit for Instagram, which if you're not following me is Hey Mummy TV. Get yourself over there and Anna Crib One on Instagram. I know a lot of people are going to be hanging out for the iPhone 12, um, which is coming out next year. So it'll be interesting to see quite how different this one is to the X. Um, so for me, I think the iPhone 11 Pro was enough. Having looked at that and compared that between the Pro Max. Um, the difference is a 5.8 inch screen um, and the Pro Max is a 6.5 inch screen. So there's a whole inch difference. So it's definitely a much bigger phone, the Pro Max. Um, do you need it? Um, I'm not sure. I like a phone that fits in my pocket. So for me, this size is absolutely perfect. It's definitely slightly heavier than my iPhone X and slightly wider maybe, but not desperately different not enough that it's going to annoy me so splash water and dust resistant which is obviously very handy especially when you're youtubing i think the main difference with these cameras at the back is you obviously have the ultra wide wide and telephoto cameras which are incredible so you've got three types of cameras there um uh, the wide camera is supposed to be the thing that everyone's raving about um, and i'm looking forward to playing around with that portrait lighting with six different effects and two times optical zoom in and out and digital zoom up to 10 times. So again, there's a slight difference there between the X um, and just supposed to be slightly better clarity and just picture quality. So it's gonna be a lot of fun playing around with this. Obviously you've got the 4K video recording um, which is fab for me, HD video recording. So that is that, um, the iPhone 11 Pro unboxed for you. I'm really looking forward to getting it fired up and having a play with it. This is the one I've been using for two years now, um, the iPhone X. I've really loved it. I'm gonna miss it. Um, it 
has been perfect for me, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing with these new cameras and um, upgrading a little bit on the quality of my videos and my Instagram posts. So watch this space and please do make sure you're following me and I will be giving you an update very soon.